TV, uh, especially at a time when we don't really get a lot of female superheroes. Am I mistaken? This is the first solo female superhero TV show. Well, it depends on what. You, well, Wonder Woman years ago. Yes. Uh, yeah. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is a badass superhero. Yeah. Um, uh, Roseanne is kind of a superhero. <laughs> in a weird <laughs> but, way. Yeah, in, in a multitasking, like like working mom way. But but yeah, I mean, I think we're very privileged to have someone that flies and wears a cape, and some of that is due to you know technology and you know visual effects advancements, and we get to do that. In a, Cool, almost realistic, perfectly realistic way. And sometimes the world is just ready to see um, power and not care what gender. Is that what attracted you to Supergirl to do Supergirl? Yeah, it's awesome. She's she flies. She like you know she she uses something other than her fist to stop bad people. She also uses her fist to stop bad people. She's really cool, and I'm I'm just so excited to like watch something with my children. And uh, not that it's a family show, but it but it can be watched by everyone. There's something for you know guys and wives and women, and it's just it's really uh, it's it's not romantic comedy. It's not action adventure. It's not genre, but it is all those things, and we're so proud of it. It's really exciting. Is it hard to do a Supergirl show without bringing the idea of Superman up or having him on the show as well? Well, certainly you live in. in in anyone's shadow, there's always someone in all of our lives that we go like, hey, wait, why not me? Why is he more important? And we, we talk about that until we don't have to, really, because I think very quickly you meet her and she is powerful and you forget that you see a glyph and you see a cape and you see flight and you the feeling of hero, again, is, is, is genderless. So this is really her show and we're really excited to explore it through her lens. How much freedoms are you taking from the comic are you going to stay very, uh, We're so inspired. I mean, I think what's nice about Supergirl versus Superman, we all have a working knowledge of Superman and his history. But Supergirl is like, wait, is it 52? Is it the ball plate? Like, what, what is her history? And so I think we're really privileged to draw on the many writers and artists and screenwriters and uh, former TV writers to just draw together uh, what this woman is going to be. And, uh, and no one's really bound by, but wait, in if this happened and that was Lana and that was Lois and so we don't because we're not bound by that we have this tremendous freedom it's very exciting have you been into comics your whole life? I've, I grew up in San Diego I mean I went to this Comic Con when there was like six posters and you know four Archies on the table and so I, I really you know would sneak you know sneak into my brother's room and look at the Supermans because I was supposed to be looking at the Richie Rich but uh, but it's great it's, I'm, I just love the world and it's really exciting because we just want to make it uh, not a comic book we want it for her to have these powers she's an alien but we want it to feel real are we looking at kind of self-contained episodes with internal struggles in each one or more of like a serialized story? Um, the answer we hope is both, is that she will absolutely face a foe every week and also some of those foes are things that live inside herself and uh, or her family or her friends or her possible love interests or her boss. It's just, you know, you take away the superpowers and the visual effects and what you have are people and their emotions and we hope to really... Uh, track those seasonally and also really show you some cool shit. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Is this going to tie in at all with like the Man of Steel universe that has been established in the movies? Or is it going to be very much like its own separate? I, I think we, we want to borrow and uh, be inspired by all the things that we love the most and not feel confined to anything. There's so much history that we have to borrow from. That, uh, at DC, our partners have been so tremendous in, in inspiring us with ideas hadn't yet had and exploring things and worlds and it's it's really cool. I'm really excited about it. And is there also a possibility that we could see some crossovers like with the Flash and Arrow and things like that? That's I know it's awesome. really changing. Well I know the guys that created that yeah. show so um, I think that we want success for this show and we're really proud that it's on CBS yeah. and in success who knows what will happen. Yeah. Okay. Can you tell, about, tell us about any of the villains we might see? I can at the panel tonight. <laughs> Fair enough. But it's exciting. Some, some familiar names. Anything else you can tell us about what's going to happen? Um, situation? 
I, I just think that what's uh, the most amazing is taking this group of actors that have, I don't know if you've had, had a chance to talk about, but their chemistry is so incredible, and putting them in these rarefied situations and watching them really, like, I just can't wait to see, and you know, we start production on the 23rd, and write scripts now, and it's so nice to see them and hang out, and uh, they're so excited about seeing each other, it's really, the, the chemistry is incredible. What are some of the themes and the messages that the show is Yes, and so do men, and so do, uh, you know, and so do sisters, and so do families, and I think, you know, we're, we're saying that um, Superman uh, is used to doing things by himself, and maybe that's sort of a male thing, and I don't know that that's going to be Supergirl's journey, and we'll, we'll explore that. How hard or how, how complex was the process of finding Melissa? Uh, I'm, I'm it's sure just my favorite story. It's like we literally saw over a thousand people, wow. and the first person we saw was Melissa Van Hoyt, <laughs> and wow. she just is like, she just like is so special and contagious and true. Like she's very real. She appears to be for you people is the same as she appears for me or for Supergirl. She's something about her is so honest uh, and accessible that I, I hope it's contagious for all of you. She looks great. She's amazing. Yeah. She, and she's like unapologetically a badass. <laughs> <laughs> and she's soft. And you can have both things and still be a, a woman. Really cool. Are there any scenes from the pilot that were found that when you saw it really stood out to you? And what exactly you I think Glenn Winter, our, uh, our director, and Michael Barrett, our DP, just did a tremendous job. And I think that. There's always a scene like in the editing room that I get emotional at, and I wish it, I don't know if you've seen the pilot yet, if you've seen it, but when, when she sees, can I say this? I guess, when yeah. she goes to save her sister, and she takes flight for the first time in a long time, and she's running down the alley, and she has this moment of like, can she do this? I think that's something that we universally as men and women and workers and mothers and brothers and sisters, we all face our fears every day and it's so universal in that moment, like, can she do this? Will she fail? Will she succeed? And in that moment where she, like, takes off, I just, like, I get emotional every time. I'm getting emotional now talking about it. It's that mom moment. Yeah, it really is. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much.